Hello friends. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the bottom of passing and the basics of handle. Okay, that is uh, RHS part must completely match with LHS and if handle is replaced by LHS non-terminal, then it must lead to starting symbol. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to proceed with our example number 3 that is S uh, will lead to X, X, W. So S produces Y, W produces SZ. Uh, in this particular uh, CFG, we have to determine if uh, the string is triple X, 4 X, Y, double Z, then we have to calculate the number of handles in this particular example. Okay, so let's find out how to proceed it to find the number of handles. Okay, okay friends, so we will do this question in a very basic manner to understand each and every step of the uh, question okay so suppose we are uh, starting with our string this is the bottom of passing so we are following in reverse order so we have to think upon it that which one is to be replaced that's why handle detection is a major problem in bottom of passing okay so you have to use your brains to determine which uh, is the handle here and which has to be replaced by this LHS non-terminal ok so here x x x x y double z so friends uh, we can observe that we have to find uh, we have to get the part as x x w as uh, the so we can say the second last one ok in order to get the starting symbol so x x must be untouched um, and uh, here we can say that y can be replaced by s so replacing the y with s is uh, making no sense okay so what we'll do we'll simply replace uh, y with s z sorry uh, y is replaced by yes uh, we can replace uh, y with s and uh, w can be okay so proceeding like this we are taking this y and y is replaced by s okay from S Z we are making W so that what will happen is we will get uh, in the last position W ok so S Z are replaced ok S Z are replaced by W ok friends so it's like this Z is also there ok here Z is also there and uh, w Z. So we have to uh, here Z S must be present in order to replace it by W. Okay. So S Z uh, S must come. So X X W X X W can replace S. Okay, can be replaced by X. So X X W is replaced by X. Okay. So X X W is replaced by S. In order to get uh, W LHS, we have to get SZ. So SZ uh, is there. SZ is replaced by W. So we got W. Here, what is uh, there? XXW. Okay. XXW is there. XXW can be replaced by S. So we are definitely getting it, the solution. So that is X is there. X is there. And W is there and uh, these three can be replaced by s so we got the string that's why this string is valid string and it uh, is accepted by the given cfg okay uh, so uh, this is the old uh, this is a thing that we were doing in the old question old examples also now we have to find the number of handles also okay friend so, so let's think that uh, we whatever we have replaced uh, that is rhs non uh, rhs part is known as handle okay i already told in the previous lecture that rhs part is handle that leads to the starting symbol and uh, that is replaced completely by the matching uh, lhs non-terminal part okay that is handle definition of handle now we have to calculate the number of handles so uh, our particular precedence of handles particular selection of handles led to the starting symbol that is the second uh, condition basic condition and first condition is that RHS must completely match LHS so uh, that, that determination 
will lead to number of handles will tell us about the number of handles so uh, the rhs terminals uh, rhs part that leads to that is replaced by uh, rhs part let uh, will replace by lhs non terminal r handles so particularly we replaced y here so y is what handle here okay now sz is replaced by w uh, sz is rhs part it is replaced by w so this is also a handle now uh, what we can say is um for w uh, w z or we can say that x x w that is x here x x w is replaced by s here so x x w is also a handle here okay so third handle is our x x w now fourth handle is s z it is z came from here that is s z is the handle so s z is our next handle now x x w that came from here okay x x w is our next handle so x x w is our handle so now we got to the starting set so these are all the a particular handle so let's count them in order to obtain the number of handle this is one this is second this is third this is fourth and five okay friends now in all we got the number of handle as five so there are five handles in this is particular example so now uh, now we are in position to calculate the uh, number of handles as well as uh, to determine whether the particular string belongs to the given cfd or not by bottom up parsing method okay that is uh, there this was a very basic question let's head on to the gate question gate 2005 question uh, and you'll get a professional touch over the handle part okay so let's uh, go it go to bottom okay so it is gate 2005 question and we have to uh let's read it out consider the grammar e this is a particular cfg e belongs to e plus e produces e plus n e produces e cross n and e produces n which of the following are sequence of handles detected by bottom of parser to pass the input n plus n into n okay for this uh, particular uh, question we already discussed the steps that are need to be taken in order to get the answer okay so the we are given the uh, input so we are proceeding n plus n into n okay friends so suppose we have to go to the starting symbol so uh, we can go through e plus n also and e into n also and n also can be replaced so uh, we have to think use our brains to find out which is the handle and which is to be replaced okay by the lhs non terminal that is first of all let's check it out if we replace n cross n by e so we'll get what n plus e so n plus e is not in the rhs part so uh, this is this should not be replaced by e okay if suppose this small n is replaced by uh, suppose uh, at small n is replaced by e that n cross e this is uh, this particular string is not present in the rhs part so it cannot be replaced so this is also not a handle so this case also fails suppose what happens if i replace the second n this n as e okay then what will happen we'll get e cross n so e cross n is there yeah so uh, e cross n will be replaced by e so e cross n will be replaced by e n plus e is this a particular handle that is present in the rhs that can be replaced by lhs no it's not there so handle uh, this is also not the handle so let's uh, the last option is uh, our leftmost n only so let's convert it let's replace it this is handle and this is replaced by lhs non terminal e okay so we are getting e plus n now the problem uh, now the second handle will be decided by us only that we have to take uh, the handle also if n cross n is replaced by e then e plus e is not in the option so let's uh, uh, take e plus n so e plus n is there it is replaced by e then e cross n is also in the rhs part so this is particular the sequence that uh, sequence of handle detection so e plus n is the handle yes it is replaced by lhs non terminal e and e 
cross n e cross n is there in the arches so it is also a uh, correct handle so e cross n will be replaced by e okay so yeah we have got the starting symbol so our handle two condition of handle is satisfied that is first it must lead to the starting symbol second uh, that complete rhs part must be replaced by lhs corresponding lhs part so we have satisfied the both the conditions of handle and uh, let's go to the options and check we are hand having n e plus n and e cross n as the handle okay friends so this is the right option so you have uh, proceeded with the uh, basic question easy question and also cracked the hard question that is gate question uh, so we are done with the handle part of the bottom up parcel thanks for listening thank you